Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. On demand, I am bringing you today top 8 popular NPM packages. These packages can be used with any framework of your choice, be it Angular, React or Node. They work well with all frameworks and trust me, these are tried and tested packages which means you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Instead, go ahead and use them in your application as your requirement. So let's go ahead and explore the top 8 um, must know NPM packages for developers. I'm sure you'll find them useful. If you do, please do hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The first library is the .env. Any application that you work with, modern framework like React, Angular or Node, will require some kind of a configuration, right? And the best way to have it is using .env module through which you can create a .env file and put all your environment dependencies there, which gets injected into your process.env. The benefit is you can have .env files for different environments, like you can have one for local, you can have one for dev, QA, UAT, or prod. This way, you know exactly that all the configurations goes into the env file. So this is a must uh, to use package if you are building a modern web application. The next uh, module that I'll cover is bcrypt. Uh, this is a beautiful library which helps us in easily hashing out passwords and compare them in Node.js. This is one of those libraries that you absolutely need, when, especially when you're working with user management or have some sensitive data which needs to be hashed. So this is something that I have used in a lot of projects and a lot of uh, major leading applications also use that. So this is something which is tried and tested serves the purpose beautifully in hashing out the passwords and it's very easy to compare in node as well. The third library is UUID, which is a unique random IDs value generator, right? So you need this because you are working with some data, you need some kind of a intermediate in transit values, which are unique, which are unique for your each transaction or record. So UUID, instead of generating your own random number or values, always prefer to using a stable library like UUID. Now this is, uh, Axios is one of those uh, beautiful libraries. I have personally uh, vouched for it because this is something which helps us in promise-based HTTP client. So it has a lot of beautiful capabilities for a lot of HTTP methods like post, put, get, and you can do a async-based, uh, promise-based HTTP calls. Uh, you can implement the then, catch. So makes it easy to make all the backend communication to posting data or communicating within the backend server itself. So that's beautiful library Axios for you. The next one is socket.io. Now this is something which if you're working, trying to build a real time communication system between web clients and servers, or say talk about messaging system, notifications or chat based applications, you must explore socket.io. This is something that is often used in most of the leading um, I would say chat based applications and helps us in building that real time communication between web client and servers. The next one is very, very uh, important, especially when you're working with date um, fields, mostly like if you're building a calendar scheduler or somewhere where you are putting timeline dates and processing of those dates, deadlines, etc. So moment JS, um, is a date library for parsing, validating, manipulating, and formatting dates in different uh, ways that we can use. Again, it's a beautiful stable library used um, pretty, pretty, it's pretty famous and you can see the number of downloads also on the package and you'll find that it's mostly downloaded. The next one is Lodash. So Lodash is a very useful when you're working especially with numbers, arrays, objects, strings, literals, so those are the things that uh, Lodash is very, very helpful and useful. If you're not yet using any of these uh, packages or modules, please go ahead, start exploring. I'm sure you'll only benefit by using them in your application. The last one is the Nodemon, which is uh, automatically restart the Node applications when changes in the directory are detected. So usually Node applications, you need to NPM run start or you have to kill it and then again start it. Uh, after a few changes, instead of that, what you can do is install this package, Nodemon. It will monitor that particular existing directory 
detect any changes and automatically restart the node server so you don't have to kill the session or start it again makes it convenient just like hot reloading in angular all right so those are the top eight packages that i want to discuss today i hope you like them drop in your comments or if you have any uh, packages that you are using in your application find them useful please share it with us we'll be happy to learn them do subscribe to my channel to get more such videos do hit the like button and subscribe button thank you so much see you in the next episode